Okay people, you have heard it from the boss. We need a cyber security program for our operations technology systems and networks. Excuse me for asking, but since I'm new to the team, what exactly do you refer to as operations technology? Brad. That's all the digital systems associated with our fully automated production. It covers supervisory control and data acquisition, industrial control systems, quality control and the like. Thanks Brad. So basically all the critical stuff that is not covered by our IT security policies. Exactly. Brad, can you brief us on your research on the topic? Sure thing. I have checked how our existing IT policies and procedures could be applied to operations technology or OT for short. The answer is underwhelming. They simply can't. Why is that the case? Because so many assumptions of IT security don't work on the plant floor. For example, we are faced with lots of systems that cannot be patched. Why? Because they are running outdated operating system versions like Windows XP, or because critical application software can crash after installation of a security patch. Damned. How many of these systems do we have? That's one of our biggest problems. We don't know. We don't know. How can that be? Simply because nobody ever bothered to introduce things like a system inventory, configuration management database, or change management. Therefore we don't know. Damned. If we don't know about endpoint systems, what about the network? Do we have complete and accurate network diagrams? No. In that case I don't even need to ask about data flow diagrams and documented use cases. Correct. We don't have any. How would they be able to configure firewalls without all that information? There are no firewalls in our production network. Are you kidding? No. That sounds like a completely policy-free, anything-goes environment. Pretty much. We don't have any specific policies for operations technology. For our most critical systems. That's the consensus. Why didn't we identify all these issues earlier? Because nobody asked. Damned. Anyhow we need to come up with a solution within months. Judging from my IT security background that appears like a stretch. That's what I also thought when beginning my research. But I think I found a solution. Tell us about it. It's called RIPE, that's an acronym for Robust ICS Planning and Evaluation. It's a standardized program developed by the Langner Group. Isn't that the team that cracks Stuxnet? Yes. What is Stuxnet? The most sophisticated cyber-physical attack ever. It was designed to delay the Iranian nuclear program by damaging their uranium enrichment centrifuges. It was all accomplished by compromising the ladder logic on the controllers. And it was reverse engineered and analyzed by the guys whom Brad mentioned. Holy cow. Tell us more about that RIPE. In a nutshell, it's a cybersecurity program for operations technology. That's precisely what we need. Yes. How is it different from IT security programs or standards? It replaces other things that work in IT but not in OT with things that do work on the plant floor. It addresses engineers and operators in their native language. Sounds good but I suspect that it would still require a lot of effort to adapt it to our needs. No, because it already comes with all the how-to details for implementation. For example, already made policies, standard operating procedures, and system procurement guidelines. Who's using that RIPE? It is used in the nuclear industry, for example. Nuclear power plants are using RIPE to protect against cyber attacks and also to comply with regulation. That sounds impressive but also tough to implement. And you know we have tight budget constraints. Sure, it does sound like requiring huge efforts, but they are actually making the implementation pretty easy. How? By offering a comprehensive software solution called MyRipe. But does that software also include configuration management and a workflow for change management? Yes. Okay, I have heard enough. How can we get in touch with these people?